Hello there sexy PlayStation gamers and welcome back to another pure PlayStation video review. This time it's Deliver Us the Moon on PS4. Good sci-fi centers around human stories. Ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances. This is what makes the genre so exciting, allowing us to explore weird and wonderful, wonderful worlds through the relatable lens of the human experience. Deliver Us the Moon, the debut game from Dutch developer Kiyoka N Interactive, stays true to this blueprint, offering a compelling, contemporary tale of solitude and survival. In the near future, where Earth's natural resources have been exhausted, man has colonised the moon in search of a solution. The World Space Agency has secured a new energy source known as Helium-3, and mankind seemed, at first, to have renewed its hope of survival. However, when a sudden blackout in the year 2054 halts all communication between the Moon and the Earth, the planet's supply of Helium-3 is cut off, and all seems lost. A few years later, as the Earth's last astronaut, you must venture to the lunar base to investigate what happened on that fateful day, and reconnect the Earth with the Moon in a final bid to save mankind. Your journey begins on the now desolate surface of our once great blue planet. The opening chapters of Deliver Us the Moon establish the atmosphere and gravity of what's going on, sowing the seeds of the story to come. Environments are rich in detail with atmospheric, moody lighting and a sweeping synth score, all working together to create an uneasy ambience that sets the stage for the game's events. Notes, diary entries and crew holograms are scattered around for you to find, and finding them builds an immersive sci-fi world that leans more towards scientific realism than high concept fiction. This extends to Deliver Us the Moon's gameplay, which combines simulation mechanics with environmental puzzles and exploration. Everything from launching a rocket, docking at a space station, repairing kits, and aligning radar dishes requires your input, with each action finding new, inventive ways for you to interact with the world. Following a launch sequence feels tactile as you flip switches and pull levers. The flickering lights of the cockpit and the roar of the engines give you a thrilling sense of feedback. There's something satisfying about how deliberate every action feels, and even the more typical puzzle sections, which have you powering generators, moving objects and dodging hazards, hold a physical and narrative weight that makes them meaningful. There are some slightly clumsy platforming sections that do prove that not every idea is as well executed, but thankfully these are few and far between, and they don't really hinder the overall experience. The gameplay is nicely varied and excellently paced, rarely having you dwell on one task for too long. One sequence switches from third person to first person as you move through a space station, struggling to maintain your orientation as you float through the claustrophobic tunnels. Soon, with the introduction of a wrist-mounted plasma cutter and a series of airlock sections, this task really becomes more complicated as you juggle managing your oxygen levels and clearing obstacles, all the while fighting against the lack of gravity. This eventually ends in a thrilling cinematic set piece that sees you hurtling through space debris before inching your way back from the brink of death. Deliver Us the Moon is clearly inspired by Alfonso Cuaron's hit movie Gravity, with its contrast between intensity and serenity. Calmness and calamity that work to amplify one another. And it really does work. The story is as much about the micros as it is the macros, focusing on both the big mission to save the Earth and the people on it, as well as the personal struggle of the one man carrying, literally, the weight of the world on his shoulders. The voice acting can be a little bit inconsistent, and the fatigue of having to read the majority of the story's exposition does hold back the narrative. But my investment in completing my mission never wavered, and thanks to several touching moments that pop up throughout the story, including its excellent, excellent ending, my efforts never felt futile. Deliver Us the Moon is an excellent work of science fiction. Stellar visual design paired with atmospheric lighting and audio make for a convincing, hard, sci-fi setting that weaves the intimate with the infinite. Engaging varied gameplay with rewarding exploration and a compelling story make this an intriguing adventure from beginning to end. Uh, Houston, uh, we have a problem. We don't have enough subscribers up here. Can you send some up? Over. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna try that. Uh, first, put the sock over the exhaust nozzle and then uh, shove it up your butt. Over. <coughs> Sorry, Houston, say again. Over. <coughs> uh, shove it up your butt. Over. 
Okay, Houston, thanks for the advice. If anybody else is listening on this channel, please like and subscribe so we can fix our trajectory and make a safe return. Over.